Uh, I look like I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a new type of video, but I thought that this would definitely keep me on track. I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of times I do videos on YouTube on purpose to like keep me accountable for certain things. And I feel like doing a budget is definitely something that I need to keep me accountable because I've done no spend months in the past. I haven't done one in a couple of months and February is not exactly going to be a no spend month, but we're going to kind of like try and do no spend as much as we can. If you guys didn't know, we bought a new house. We sold our old house and bought a new house in December, but we also were victimized by a scam, which I am going to do like a whole scam story. I'm just kind of waiting for like the outcome of it because we're still obviously like we didn't get our money back yet and they're still working on trying to do that but i'm kind of waiting to do a scam story until i know whether or not like we are or absolutely aren't going to get that money back but long story short we were scammed our whole entire down payment for this new house and so that was a lot of money that we are now in debt because we had to go get a loan in order to pay what we were going to pay for the down down payment. And so yeah, December was definitely a scary month as far as our income went and just, you know, all of the money things that we had to do for the house. But in January, we like we weren't really doing anything specific. We do have a new loan payment that we have to pay off as well as like the mortgage of the house obviously. And then because of us not having like income for a time in December, we were using some credit cards, so there's definitely some credit cards that we definitely need to pay off as well as my goal is to definitely pay off that new like down payment loan at least within this year. I would love to do it within six months, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it within six months because we would have to take a lot of our like actual savings out. And so I don't know. Our goal, my goal, my goal is definitely because like there is a lot of high interest on that new loan. I've just been budgeting out of my bullet journal because I'm a big bullet journal person. And so yes, like I don't have a lot of the math I kind of have to do like on my computer or on my phone. It's not as easy as doing a spreadsheet on the computer, but I feel like I will keep it more updated if I do it in my planner and I feel more productive and I'm, a, I'm like a write down person. So if I have it just like on the computer, I feel like it's it's gonna be like less fun to do it. I have to kind of, you know, like lay everything out and do it that way. So I'm just gonna go through everything that we spent for this month. And if you guys have any tips, cause this is kind of obviously my, my first budgeting video, but if you guys see anything that you're like, hey, like maybe you do this instead of that, that would be greatly appreciated. And I would love for you guys to drop a comment down below, but this is definitely not a month that we saved like specifically, like this was just, you know, we were going through the month. It didn't really matter. We weren't paying attention to like any money or anything. Whereas in February, I definitely want to crack down on a lot of stuff. My grocery bill actually was like the highest it was in January. And that might've been because I was doing like a whole 30 and I had to buy like very expensive, you know, like products and stuff. They're a lot more expensive than just buying like, you know, regular barbecue sauce compared to like Whole30 barbecue sauce. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. Okay, so starting at the top, we do have the income and I'm not gonna share like the exact income that we make, but our mortgage actually now comes out of my husband's income. So what I did is I did actually add our mortgage money technically back into my husband's income because I also took out the mortgage money from the expenses in housing. And so like, I don't, I don't want like the mortgage to just be like completely extinct, you know, since we only get paid after the mortgage is paid. I want to be able to see that. I want to know how much we're paying towards the mortgage. So I did add extra money on the income and then obviously put the mortgage in our expenses. But I did not make as much money this month because I didn't make anything over the month of December. We work at a college and so like I don't get paid over that time because I am not like a salaried employee. I did go back to work full-time though and so my next 
paychecks for like this whole entire year are definitely going to be a lot more than what I have been making from this later part of the year. Plus I will be racking up like vacation time. So that will be good by next Christmas. I won't like I actually will get paid for next Christmas, which is great. For YouTube, I did make $612 and I actually have that money. I put it into a different savings account because I'm trying to save all of the money that comes from YouTube and especially for paying taxes later on. I'd watched a video on YouTube all about it, which I can like link down below. It was over on Katherine Manning's channel because I really love watching her channel, but I want to keep my YouTube like income separate from our actual income that we're making from our jobs just in case I do need to pay taxes from it or also just to kind of get a ballpark figure. So any type of sponsorships, I'm also going to put in that one fund together. So that way I can totally figure out like what I'm making and what I'm not making. Then of course, like pretty much everybody else, we did get a stimulus check this month. So I did put that in our income as well. Okay, so moving on to utilities. So for electric, we have $142.23. That's actually pretty high, but this is also like the first electric bill that we got in the new house. And so the ceilings are a lot taller and it is a little bit bigger than our last house. So that might be why the heating is a little bit more, but I am interested to see what it's going to be like, like in the next couple months and during the summer. For water, we haven't received a water bill yet, but that actually is billed, I think every three months. So once I find out what that bill is in three months, then I can actually deduct it by each month. I'll just divide it by three. But for now, I actually don't know what it is, but I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that expensive. Then for garbage, garbage is $20 a month for our phones. It's $173.64. And that's for both myself and Alvin. And I think that he talked about maybe changing the data plan. So that way we're not paying for unlimited data since we are using Wi-Fi like constantly everywhere. So maybe that will be able to go down in the future. But I think I am going to talk to him, especially since I think we're both getting up grades very soon. So I do want to try and cut that down a little bit. And then for internet, it's $126.57. And again, that's like super expensive. Um, but unfortunately, like we need really good internet because of my YouTube and Alvin's gaming and everything like that. So I don't believe that we could cut down on the internet. Also, we live in a very like small area. So there's only like two internet companies to choose from. There's not a whole bunch. So the total of utilities is $462.44. Then going over to housing, our mortgage date is $850. Um, our loan that we're paying is going to be $313 in every single month. And yes, that is a lot of extra money to pay for because the interest is so high. So we definitely want to pay this loan off very fast. Then for insurance, it's $425.98, but part of that insurance is actually going into a special savings account that we have through our like state farm insurance. So all of that actually isn't technically an expense, um, but it's definitely money that we can't touch in the next like millions of years or whatever. So I just count it as an expense. And then that way it doesn't really look like a bunch of money is coming out and going somewhere that we're going to be like, Ooh, I think that's going somewhere in the future. I don't know how your mind works, but that's how mine works. Then I did spend almost $300 in decor. It's at $286 and 20 cents. And that is because we moved into the new house. So I bought lamps and plants and rugs and yeah, things for the house, you know? So that total is $1,875.92 for housing. For gas, we used to spend $300 a month because we were driving to and from work. But since we moved to very much closer to our work, we are now only spending $71.30. And we did not have to pay for any maintenance or anything this month. Then for food, that is what is literally out of Oh, so much money. So technically in necessary groceries, we spend almost $800 and then unnecessary groceries, such as things that I get from like Thrive Market and other places as that, uh, we spent around $200. So that means our grocery bill was almost $1,000 and we are only two people. Now, within saying that, we actually ate every single meal this month from things that I actually cooked homemade. So pretty much all two to three meals a day that we eat, we did eat because I cooked it. We did not eat at 
like work like we do a lot of the times. So we didn't go out to eat. So all of our money was me buying groceries and cooking every single lunch and stuff because of being Whole30. Then for our subscriptions for YouTube TV, we pay $65 a month. We actually do split that with two other people, um, but I didn't even count that in just because even if we didn't split it with those people, we would still be paying $65 a month because we love YouTube TV that much. Spotify, we pay $10 a month. Adobe is what I use to edit and that is $21 a month. Our Hulu is $6 a month. Netflix is $8. Uh, the Xbox Live is $9.99 a month. Epidemic Sound is something that I use for both of my channels. It's where I get all of my music from and I pay $30, it's 15 for each channel. Then in Amazon, we spent almost $400 just getting random things from Amazon. I didn't pay attention to what actually we bought, so I didn't put it in actual categories. But Amazon is definitely that place where I literally just need to like take the app off of my phone for a month and I will literally spend like $0 from there. So. That's the thing, like I, I mean, I know we get things that we need, but I also know that we get things that are just like, oh yeah, we can quick order from Amazon compared to if you're ordering from somewhere else, like, you know, you're not, you don't feel like going out to Walmart at the time. So some of that stuff is decor, some of it is clothing, some of it was probably stuff for the house, like actual like maintenance things, like, you know, I don't know, not paint, but you know what I mean? Anyway, definitely wanna cut that bill down for this month. Then I did buy a Costco membership for $60, so that is good for the whole year, but I just counted it in this month. And yeah, let's, hmm, that's probably not gonna be good for my grocery bill when I actually go to Costco next month. And then Nintendo Live is $5.99. For our total subscriptions, that's $594.80. And then for miscellaneous, um, we did not do any haircuts or gifts. For health, I paid $100 so far to something called Steady MD. It's like an online doctor that I'm doing and I do pay for that for the whole year. And I will have more expenses for health because I did have some blood tests I got done and they did go through insurance, but I'm still waiting on that bill. For shipping, we paid $100.14. A lot of that is because of like actual Christmas time. And then I shipped some books and Alvin's been shipping like actual like Pokemon cards he's been selling and stuff like that. He has made an income from that, but um, you know, all the shipping counts. Then we did just pay $100 for a credit card payment. That was literally just like kind of the minimum that we did all the time. Um, but now that we have racked up money on the credit cards because of what happened, um, we will have to pay a lot more than that in the next couple months. And then for clothing, I did spend almost $100 in clothing. A lot of that was like clearance stuff that I got off of Walmart. Um, and so was that a necessity? Not really, but I spent only like $5, like this right here, this cardigan that I'm wearing, $5 at Walmart. So yes, not a necessity, but it was some things that I'm getting for like next year's winter because it was all kind of like end of the year winter stuff. Um, and I hardly ever have a clothing budget. So total miscellaneous was $400.09. When we add up all of our expenses, it's $5,197.17. And then our difference that we technically saved this month, it's actually just gonna go to the loan, is $1,914.83. That money that we saved, I'm actually probably gonna be putting it towards the credit cards to pay off first since they are much, much lower than the loan that we are paying off. Um, um, and so I think that I'm going to do a couple different goals for February. I definitely want to get my Amazon expenses down to almost zero. I'm going to be taking the app off of my phone. And so I think I should budget just like $50 that I can use for Amazon for February. So we're going to do $50 for Amazon. For our groceries, I think that normally I spend like $700 to $800 and there is like a new meal planning type of book system thing that I want to do. I'm going to try it out in February and then I'm going to do a whole actual like month for it in March and show you guys this in my March videos. And so I think I'm going to have a goal to get my grocery budget down to $600. That's a huge goal. So $600 in the month of February, we're definitely gonna try that out. Now, since we are coming off of a Whole30, I might allow like a $50 eating out budget because we haven't eaten out in a really long time. So I think I'll do $600 for groceries and 
$50 for eating out in case we want to get like something for Valentine's Day, like Chinese food or something. Then the only other thing that I really want to do for the month of February, obviously doing kind of like as much no spend as I can, but I do want to pay off. So I think I'm going to do about a thousand dollars going to a credit card, paying off one of them. And then that way the next month I can work on the next one. And then hopefully we can keep going on with the actual like bigger loan payment, which I think isn't that what Dave Ramsey does. It's like the snowball effect or something like that. I think I need to read up on that. Maybe I'll read an article or two. So that way my March budget with me is a lot more informative than this one. This one's definitely just my first one. I'm just sitting down and kind of talking expenses with you guys. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say is I know that my husband, um, where he works, they like kind of match your retirement type of thing. And so I know he did like up his retirement percentage. So that way they would match it um, each time he ups it. So I know that he is putting towards retirement. I just, I am not that smart of an individual. So I don't know all the logistics of all of that stuff, but yeah, super not excited for tax season because we usually have to pay a lot of money to taxes, especially with my YouTube income, since that's not taxed and so we have to pay. So in March, yeah, I'm probably gonna be broke. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you want to see the rest of my like bullet journal plan with me, because I know that some of you guys are interested in that, I will have the video. It's actually over on my book channel. So that one doesn't talk about budgets or anything. It's literally just me showing you how I set up the rest of my bullet journal for February. So definitely check that out. And that's it. I will see you guys hopefully in March's budget video, unless this one sucks and then I won't make another one. So bye everyone. Bye.